Hey Blairsville, it's Sarah here with the Chamber of Commerce and joining me today for our Monday Member Moment, I have Oleg Malashev. He is a financial advisor with Edward Jones right here in Blairsville and we're excited to have you. I can tell you just from, from the get-go that I did some work with him recently with our own financial planning and just a consummate professional. So I'm already just excited to share this member with you guys. Oleg, what do you guys do at Edward Jones? Well, first of all, Sarah, thank you for having me here. It's always an honor. And, uh, and great way to start it off. As a financial advisor with Edward Jones, we really focus on working with individual investors, businesses as well, and business owners, and help them achieve their financial dream. Most importantly, we find out what's important to them, and then from there, we try to build an established process uh, to, that's tailored to them to help them achieve their financial goals. And most importantly, I would say, and lastly, uh, we stay, stay together with them and partner with them to make sure that they're on track for the rest of their lives. So we have a lot of people who just kind of want to DIY, do everything themselves. We've got apps for everything nowadays. Why does somebody want to go with a financial planner? Well, I will say that I could probably sit here all day and give you plenty of reasons. But the number one thing I would say is just like my wife and I, we have a, a dream house, or I should say a dream host, a home. And if I went out there with a, with a shovel and an excavator and try to do it myself, it would not work out well. So for the same reason, when it comes to financial planning, I, I really enjoy and take pride in working with folks by helping them achieve their financial goals. Mm -hmm. So just as I wouldn't build a house myself, I don't recommend folks try to build their investment dream house, financial dream house, on their own either. That makes perfect sense and it's just why reinvent the wheel when someone already knows exactly what needs to be done. Exactly. So along those lines, what do you feel like, would you share with us kind of the most common financial mistake people make? Uh, yeah, great great question. I would say that there, there are plenty of them out there. but. Uh, as of right now, um, the biggest thing I'm seeing is folks watching too much of this financial news and, and really reading too much into it, believing that they are experts and that they can predict what will happen, where that is definitely not the case. So one of the biggest mistakes is not just watching and reading too much about the financial marketplace, but maybe making unsound decisions based on what you see and read. Okay, so don't make a decision based on everything you read. Correct. Yeah. Okay, and then, so along those lines, and one more question for you, what's a tip? What's your best tip that you would offer to people that are making financial decisions? Wow, you saved the best for last here. I will say the number one thing that I use to start uh, when I work with clients is finding out what's important or finding out the goal and then prioritizing assets or investments based on that goal. For example, having a goal of leaving a legacy for your children, maybe we have different options than the typical income generating things and vice versa. If we need income, maybe let's not plan for legacy quite yet, but just finding a goal and then using knowledge to get you to that goal appropriately with the right kind of investments. I love that. Essentially, you're saying begin with the end in mind. Let's see Correct. where we want to go and then we'll make the path to get there. Absolutely. I love it. Very good. So where are you guys located? We're located off of 178 Brackets Way, suite number two, uh, which is right here by Popeyes and right by the new Longhorns that I'm sure everyone is familiar with. Okay, perfect. So if you are in need of some financial planning, take advantage of this local member and head down to Edward Jones. Thanks, guys.